What's up, Boo Boo Gang? So today, we're gonna react to Kodak Black expeditiously. The T.I. diss track, okay? Kali. Shout out to all subscribers worldwide, first and foremost. You know Yo. Everywhere across the world, y'all support. We love Everybody. you. We thank you for y'all support. Go support us on our on her Twitch. She on that gaming. Support my podcast on uh, on our channel. And, for, and uh, the Patreon as yeah, well. Man, support that, man. Now's information. Yes. Good conversations, man. Links are down below, man. Yeah, we're working hard out here, man. Links are down below. So, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> when did Kodak start using big words? That's what I need to know. So, all this started from him saying things about Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London. Him saying. T.I. jumped on his back. And the game, and who else? I think it was. Gilly the Kid and a couple of other people getting on him for saying what he's saying. Like I thought that was disrespectful. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sit here and lie and, and, and say it wasn't. Especially because it just happened. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just like it's certain things you can't teach ignorant niggas. Like they have to be taught it at a young age. I don't, I don't think he was taught. You know the rules of the game of life. You know what I'm saying. And he just don't, he he just don't have no filter. Remember, remember what about uh, a month and a half ago he was going at uh, freaking Young and May. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just keeps on like... Yeah, it's just going. like, what are you chasing? Because he don't have a song right now that's like well, well, hot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, these dudes, they don't have no respect. I'm not saying all young people, but I mean, but a lot of them, majority of them don't have no respect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's get to this song. Let's see what he's talking about. We're going to say. We're going to say. Let's see what, see what Kodak got. What, let's see what he's saying. Like, it's a, it's a <laughs> frenzy right now. True story ain't no lie. Change the life, they won't let you. <laughs> they know all these legends will try and change the life, but they won't let you. <laughs> How you trying to change the life when you starting all this drama? Man? Just yeah, man. stop. I think it's like y'all need to be contradicting your words with your actions. Man. Oh my gosh. A dude that changed this ain't man. gonna sit here and be disrespecting a dead man's wife, disrespecting. A homosexual female that you know that she's not into guys. She's exactly, into like, female. That's what she's into. So for you to... It's like chatting. Exactly, man. For real, for real. Like, I just think dudes get money. They get jewelry. They get some girls. They get some cars. And they get all this attention. And, and, and just, they just... They start feeling themselves. They can't control... The ego and, they, and all. They I just feel like they feel like they could just say whatever. Yeah, you can't say whatever you want to say. Have no consequence. Man. Like he's Kodak, so he could just say yeah, whatever he boy. want. I seen this episode before. Woo Certain rappers claim that they was this and that, and then what happened to them? You feel yeah. what I'm saying? From from the six nines, from the Troy Avs, from the Bobby Smurders. Yeah, man. Yeah, that niggas. Y'all niggas don't, y'all hard-headed niggas. Even, um... Something gotta happen to you for you to change your life. Yeah. You think what I'm saying? You hard-headed nigga. You think it can't happen to you, but like I said before, ain't nobody invisible. You will get popped in your ass in a heartbeat, homeboy. Facts. Or lose your life. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, all I'm saying is, you can take the nigga out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out the nigga. I mean, it's a mentality, man. Like, man, spend that money on learn how to, uh, like, have somebody teach you how to act. Come on. Go ahead. Let's get it. I'm in Detroit right now. I'm just hollering at my nigga here. I'm going to holler at my boy. He say he feel like he going to die soon. Had to pray for him because he need it more than I do. How can I tell my people that's exactly the way I feel? But I know that I'm blessed, so I don't give a bitch that I deal. Run in front of Jace, I will post it up with a nine ear. Got me jumping gates, I got credit. What 
the heck is he talking about right now? Is this the this track right here? Yes. So where is it this one? Where is it this? Where? He ain't even talking about anything either to justify what the heck he said about Lauren. Oh my God, man. Cause I don't turn the on snitch I ain't going out like that rap I don't do no tipping Willie said my name on the TV though He's talking about 6 9 No, no, but go back, go back No I can't see Boy, kill Looking at my little boy like father Don't let them boys stem Nigga tried to trap me, I saw it They say that boy slipper Niggas tried to trap me, I saw it They say that boy slipper Young niggas sticking to the cold Cause I don't turn the on snitch So that's the diss? Yo, Kodak is a... Yeah, Kodak is a character. TV, that boy, a ball witness. On the new CTIP, me, that boy got no feeling. Soon put the pole on the body, they say the game stripping. Old heads ain't hitting on no nothing, I say them boy kidding. I want all the smoke out the stove, but I don't even roll fit it. How the hell you calling me out when you know I don't listen? How you try to put... See, he just called himself stupid. Talking about somebody, how you gonna call me out when you know I don't listen? So no matter how many times you say Kodak is wrong, he not gonna listen. But he's saying, but he said he don't listen, but he making his songs, so that means that he do listen. Again, niggas is contradicting their words with their actions. He's contradicting his Well, he listens enough to make a diss track back. So he's listening then. Come but he's not, he does, he's not actually gonna put action into like listening, oh, literally. Like, uh, like, oh, come on, this is before. And again, he called them old heads. Right here, well, anyway. Right here, what you call niggerism. That's all, that's all this is, man. Go ahead. You know what? Time out when I ain't real boy chillin'. Nigga waiting on for me to fall out just like that boy did it. Say they rock for me to the wheel. He said, 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 Gilly, he said, Gilly fell off. Go ahead. You know what? How you try to put me in time out when I ain't real boy chillin'? Nigga waiting on for me to fall out just like that boy did it. Say they rock for me till the wheel fall off, I'll be like, oh really? How you tell me what came out? My mom you don't even know this. Time to that bitch ugly as hell, I don't need a more piggy. I can't beat you, nigga. What did he say? He said, Tiny that be ugly. Oh, he disrespected He wife. just went to his wife. Oh. He talking about some, um, how you gonna say what came out of my mouth when you didn't even know Nipsey? When did Kodak ever talk about Nipsey when he was alive? L I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, okay. Alright. Okay. They rock for me to the wheel, follow I'll be like, oh, really? How you tell me what came out of my mouth? You don't even know Nipsey. Saying man, like his his the way he talk, the way he don't open his mouth when he talk. It's just it's like you can hardly hear what he's saying. He's not clear. Well, one he has an accent, and two he be high. So oh. mix it all together, you have Kodak. Oh, I mean, I don't. It, it was corny. It, it was like basically trash. It was like basically he was just talking. And he brought up Tiny for no reason, literally no reason. Mm. I don't know. I mean, my conclusion on this is. The song was trash. I didn't like it. Um, I just think that 
I seen this episode. I seen this before, with with rappers. Mm -hmm. They think that they invincible, and nothing can happen to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When we're looking at the six nines, the Troy Avs, um, the 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 uh, Bobby Smurders, and and um, you know, it's it's you understand that road where it's gonna lead to, all and right. all it's gonna lead to is destruction. <clears throat> you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To me, he don't have no respect. I think he's feeling himself because he's making money. And this is what happens when you when you give young, dumb niggas from the hood money. And, like, they don't have knowledge of themselves. And this is what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this young, young dumb nigga stuff right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he just taking L's. Because what he said about Lauren was an L. Yeah, like you just nobody, like, nobody back with him no yeah, more. Yeah, it's just like if. And then now this, like, if he was in a relationship with a with a famous actress and he get killed, would he want another dude? Exactly to say say yo, a Kodak is dead now, yada yada yada. But yo, but I got you though, like. But I'm gonna get with your woman and all exactly. that. Exactly. Like you, like you wouldn't like that. So why would you do that? Is this is this? You have to know when it like to mute yourself and when not to. I mean, like when to talk and when not to, man. It's just he he don't he don't have no filter. He should have just like rest in peace to Nip. Don't even bring up Lauren. Exactly. Like, why did Lauren even need to be talked about? Exactly. Like, and um, to these these the other rappers like Ti and, and Game and and, and Gillian. I mean, my, like my thing with these with them cats is like this, man. Don't take everything to social media, man. I like. If you got a problem with an individual, go see that man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why dudes got to go and tell the whole world, I got a problem with an individual. Yeah. Get on the phone with that man. You know what I kind of also Go see that man. I you know kind of I mean? I feel like T.I. tries to be in everything. Yeah, it's like, it's like he, he was even in that Floyd yeah, Gucci situation. Yeah, like, like you ain't the. Yeah, like you stop ain't trying the, to save everything. Yeah, like no, like, you ain't the like figure save your exactly. save your goddamn marriage and all that. Worry about your marriage and your family, man. Focus on that. So sometimes he had to do the too. Because you and your woman at one point, like y'all relationship was at odds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like y'all had problems, man. Focus on that. Yeah. Like you ain't the savior of the world, man. Exactly. When well, you gotta be coming he be, with a cape on, like, his like now he's Superman day. now. He gotta like, exactly. like get the freak out of here. Man. Get out of here. Same nigga talking about we need to clean our community, but before before you got to this uh, mindset now that you in, you was the rubber band man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You was flipping bricks and all that. You know, selling dope and all that. All in your raps. <laughs> That niggas, man, come on, man. So I think that Kodak and T.I. need to go sit down someplace. Yeah, man. Get out. But stop going Both on social are. media. That's not official. Yeah. If you got a problem with an individual, go see that man. Yeah. Stop, stop getting online telling the whole world. Because what are you really doing at the end of the day? Are you looking for clout? Are you looking for attention, T.I.? The game? Gilly? Or he just on, he wants man. the public to see him yeah, to save like, every yeah, situation. Man, get the freak out of here. Like, That's not official. Go see that man. If you got a problem with that man. You don't like him? Meet me somewhere. We can shoot the, the five and then kill all that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, but y'all getting on the internet incriminating yourself, threatening each other and all this and that. Come on, man. Y'all know the boys is watching. Big Brother's watching everything, baby. Y'all yeah. know what it is. Hip-hop police is everywhere. So cut it out, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, fraud ass, I mean, just fraud and behavior, man. Like, like back in the days, niggas didn't do this. But niggas talking about they cut from the old school cloth and, and, and back. If you on the internet doing that, then you ain't cut from that cloth, man. <laughs> For real. I don't, know, I don't know what the freak you on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, shout out to all the subscribers. Man, shout out to all the real niggas that understand that this is not a game. If you come from that ghetto life, you understand the violence, what can happen. And what have these niggas, these niggas didn't learn anything from mm -hmm. Nipsey Hussle's death. He, if he was trying to bring gangs together and cut the violence out, then y'all niggas need to follow his footsteps. Kodak, uh, T.I., the game, Gilly, follow his footsteps. Yeah. Get off the internet, get on the phone, holler at the young boy. We need to sit down and, and talk. You dig? Like grown mature men. Peace, we out of here. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>